What's up guys, welcome to Biohacking Explained and today we're going to talk about what are the things that you need before starting your peptide journey. I am a biohacker that changed this life. I went from 245 pounds to 186 pounds currently at 8% body fat and I've never felt my best. In this comprehensive overview, I'm going to be breaking down the exact syringes that you need and what you need to do to get into the peptide world. If I was starting out in my peptide journey, the first thing that I would do is I would get my lab work done. I do have a comprehensive video about this subject. I'm gonna put it in my description below. Just to give you a quick recap of the things that I would look at in my lab work, I would look at estradiol, free test, testosterone, prolactin, and liver enzymes. Having any lab work done before any peptide protocol is gonna give you a baseline. That way, as you start your peptide protocol, you're gonna know if there's any red flags coming out and if you should altogether stop the peptide or you can titrate down. All right, let's assume that your lab work has been done and your hormones came out at normal healthy levels. Let's talk about reconstitution tools. Peptides come in a lyophilized powder, so usually you have to reconstitute it with bacteriostatic water. And what I use to do that is a withdrawing syringe Usually I do one just like this one. It's a three milliliter, 23 gauge, one inch syringe. What I like to do guys is get the 100 pack. It usually comes just like this and it lasts me forever. I'm gonna put the Amazon link down in the description below so it's easier for you to purchase it. Another key product that you're gonna to need to purchase is gonna be rubbing alcohol. I usually get the 70% or higher. You could get it at any pharmacy store. I'm also gonna put it down in the description below so it's easy if you just wanna purchase it. The next thing that's absolutely crucial guys is bacteriostatic water or reconstitution solution. I like to get the one that comes in glass so that we don't get any type of microplastics when we're injecting it into our bodies. Since we're using rubbing alcohol to keep everything as sterile as possible, you could use cotton balls. This is exactly the ones that I use to keep both the peptide vial and my skin as clean as possible, but you could also use alcohol wipes. It all works the same. Now, I know this is pretty obvious, but we do need a peptide. I am gonna make a video in the future of the process that I use to find the best quality peptides in the market. And the last thing that you guys are gonna need is an insulin syringe, just like this one. So I like to get the one milliliter, 31 gauge, eight inch syringe, and it comes in a pack of 100, just like this box. It's gonna be in my description as well, guys. Now, a quick tip, guys, always ask your provider for a certificate of analysis. You wanna make sure that your peptide is as pure as possible. I also don't like to purchase anything from outside the USA. And this concludes our video, guys. I hope the information was helpful. Comment and like below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.